Well, dozens of international passengers were injured on a Boeing plane after it hit strong turbulence on Monday. According to Spanish airline Air Europa, the aircraft had to make an emergency landing in Brazil. The flight headed to Uruguay from Madrid. You can see the damage from inside of the plane's cabin following that intense turbulence. At least 30 people suffered different types of injuries. Some are being treated at a hospital in Brazil. And now Beryl is now at a Category 5 hurricane. It's the earliest of that strength on record in the Atlantic. Amy Kiley reports on its path and power. It almost seems peaceful here in the eye of Hurricane Beryl. But this is a deadly, history-making monster that's been growing in power. It is total devastation. Total, total devastation. Beryl is now the earliest Atlantic Cat 5 ever recorded. More broadly, it's the earliest major hurricane there in 58 years, and it's the easternmost to form in the tropical Atlantic in June. The National Hurricane Center says it's been getting stronger, hitting St. Vincent, Barbados, and other places as a Cat 4, before strengthening to a Category 5 last night. This is, this is, this is madness. I have never seen this in my 46 years of life. For now, the eye of Hurricane Barrel is in fairly open waters of the Caribbean Sea. It's expected to impact Haiti and the Dominican Republic beginning today. It could eventually hit Mexico, but the weather in Cancun is still beautiful for now. That community is getting some schools ready to use as shelters since it's clear what Hurricane Barrel can do. There's nothing more we can do but, sit, but stand and watch total destruction. Our livelihood gone down the drain. I'm Amy Kiley reporting. Vanessa, I know you're used to hurricanes and hurricane season, but even this seems like it's pretty out of the ordinary for what we're normally seeing this time of year. Yeah, like you just heard there, this is the earliest Category 5 storm. The last one was Emily back in July of 2005. That was around July 17th, if I can remember from recent memories. So this is just to show you how warm it is out there in the Caribbean and into the Atlantic this early on in the season. So this has me worried of how the rest of hurricane season is going to be shaping up. Experts did say this is going to be an above average year, but this is for me what we like to call a textbook hurricane. You can really see that well-defined eye of barrel with that eye wall. I went through a Category 5 hurricane. You do not want to go through one of these folks. And as of the latest advisory from the National Hurricane Center, Barrel currently has winds at 165 miles per hour. This is a monster out there, but it is forecast to weaken as it continues to move through the Caribbean and should be making landfall somewhere along the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico over the next several days. Of course, we're going to be watching things and keeping you updated on that. Back here at home, we are still watching those Missouri River levels. I was out there yesterday. And I could tell those river levels are continuing to rise. Currently, they're at around 22.47. And it's still forecast to get up to around 24 feet by the early morning hours of July 4th before it slowly starts going down. But we're still at that moderate level for the next several days. So please proceed with caution if you do live near the Missouri River due to the concerns for some flooding. And if that's not enough for us, today is hot and humid. And also we are under the potential for strong to severe storms. We are under a level three enhanced risk from the Storm Prediction Center in Norman, Oklahoma for some high winds, damaging hail, and also the chance for some heavy rain and some isolated tornadoes. I'll have more on what we can expect in terms of the hot and humid conditions for today coming up in about five minutes. Courtney? I'm still ahead.